What's up guys, it's your boy Lee over here with Real Good Fishing 956. Today I just wanted to walk you through my kayak setup and let you know how I run my kayak when I go out there fishing. Um, keep in mind, I didn't get all of this overnight. It was um, a process and it's really helped me out and up my fishing. Um, so guys, this kayak is the Sea Stream Angler 120 PD which stands for pedal drive. Um, it's 12 feet, approximately 12 feet long. Um, the width is 35 inches, so almost three feet, which makes it extremely stable, as you can see here. See, we got a platform where you can stand up. Um, it's really stable. The drive weight, see the pedal drive here? It's uh, 22 pounds, and the weight of the kayak is 97, so you're looking at over 100 and uh, almost 20 pounds with the kayak and the pedal drive. Um, the capacity here is 400 pounds. It's a sit on top kayak and it's super smooth guys. I've been out there and I don't ever feel uncomfortable or unstable on this kayak. Um, so like I said, it's about uh, 12 feet long. It's got a rudder in the back um, right here. So that makes maneuvering the waters really super convenient and uh, a lot easier than without the rudder um, the way that rudder handles is uh um, it's up right now so right here i have my clip on here um probably not the best place for it but you just take the um, sorry just take this and you lift it up and slowly let it go and as you can see in the back releases the rudder Pull it back up and then just you pull it back up and then you just press down on it and it stays up so starting in the front over here guys I, I got my net that I use um, just a standard net but it's very necessary when you're trying to bring in those monster trout and they're doing their head shakes um, so you scoop them scoop them in I got a tow line right here just to take my kayak out there um, um, get it into the water uh, Here we have the it's a huge um, Deck as you can see there's so much room for it guys I Have my pedal drive right here. This pedal drive is super nice right now. It's in the up position, but um, You just uh, pick it up and position it where you can drop it down it goes down in there um, Here I have a cup holder just a standard cup holder. I got off of Amazon and um, Railblazer rod holder right here as well. Now you do have to buy separate attachments for it um, because it doesn't fit so I had to go on Amazon and buy uh, the attachment so that it could fit but it's very convenient guys to use when you're catching fish just set your rod in here and uh, you're good to go comes with this seat right here I got my life jacket of course always wear your um, survival gear out on the water got the seat here the seat kind of fits into ridges right here I don't know if you guys can see that very well there's ridges I have mine set on one two on the third one so it keeps it secure and in the back it kind of goes in here you can see I'll show you guys it slides in and out of that track system in there and so we can do that um, one complaint I do have about this is the way they got this to um, secure it is by a strap so you wrap this around the back wrap it around the front and you snap it in here and if you're going up against some currents guys and you're putting pressure on this pedal drive the sleet the seat sorry will slip back it comes out of these grooves right here and so that's my biggest complaint on this but I have come up with a DIY and um, what I'll be doing in the future is back here I'm just putting some braces so that it won't slide back so just measure the distance and put them in there um, if you want more tips or advice about that please feel free to ask in the comments below over here I have where I put my phone my cell phone take those epic photos guys out there on the water um, here's the controller gear which controls the rudder really smooth no complaints 
Um, over here I have uh, just my Yak Gear anchor system. And I just have it where I just anchor this to my kayak and drop it in, in the water. Um, set it down as deep as I need to go, shallow. And so I just keep that on here as well. Um, what else? I think you guys saw this little clip I had right here as carabiner. Um, it's just for my knife because, yes, I have lost things in the water out there. As soon as I catch a fish, grab my measuring stick out here, set it up on my lap, right here on my lap, and measure away. I got it clipped to my cooler back here. I'm done with it. I'll just slide it back in there, very convenient, out of the way. I got this cooler here, guys, right behind my seat where I keep all my drinks. Um, and my snacks because I get hungry out there. And then right here is the, the system that it came with to hold the paddle. I don't like it. I'm going to rig something else later. Um, but for now, it'll do the system to hold, the, hold my paddle. Um, if you guys notice, I did a DIY. And I got the trolling motor on there, and this thing is a beast, guys. This Newport 36 pound thrust. I absolutely love it. I don't even steer with it, guys. I don't steer with it. I steer with the rudder, and it works phenomenal. I have no complaints whatsoever. I have it all the way tight, so you can see it doesn't move. Um, pretty much all the way down. So, kind of goes around right there. Got the wire system here. I want to show you guys the battery I use for it. Um, if you can see it's a life PO4 12.8 volt 50 amp hours phenomenal battery so in this DIY I did build in some rod holders as well if you guys want to know more about this leave me some comments below I got my crate here where I just reach around back and I just got all my gear in here guys my lures um, fish grips my stringer of course that I have in there and just some other tackle that I have gear and you can see there's still room back here, guys. There's still room. I'll show you a shot from the back. Um, and then I set up this flag here. All I did was go to the hardware store and buy this plant stake. And this flag was $2.99, I believe, at Academy. And I made this myself, just rigged it up. And guys, they sell these at Academy, the whole system, for like 30 bucks, 20 bucks. And you can just do it yourself for about five bucks. Um, what else no complaints the pedal drive works really well it's very efficient um, and it goes against those currents really really well so I'm very happy with with my purchase overall um, I did get this kayak online at eco fishing shop and I believe I bought it for close to 1500 right now it's 1399 so they have it on a good price not sponsor or anything just um, letting you guys know that I'm very happy with my kayak. I fish South Texas waters in the bay, South Padre Island, um, Lower Laguna Madre, uh, Port Mansfield, Arroyo. So this thing will do wonders. Um, haven't taken it out on any lakes yet, but I am looking forward to that. So if you guys have any questions about this, um, feel free to holler at me. Leave me some comments, please. Like Please like and subscribe to my video guys and I definitely will be putting a lot more content, a lot more fishing videos to come. Brand new YouTuber here guys, please help me out, support my channel, um, give me a thumbs up, subscribe so we can keep doing these fishing videos. Y'all take care, tight lines, until next time, peace out.